So number one thing that you need is your um, mental state, or what I call is mental thermostat. So what does it mean? Thermostat, setting the thermostat means setting the level of achievement you're going to have, not you want to have, not your goal is, but you're going to have, so you can get your performance to that. So the way I visualize it, you can set your setting like this to high, and then your performance, no matter what happens to you, it will gradually move towards that setting. If you set it very low, it will move this low. The mental thermostat setting is everything. You cannot achieve anything without that determination. In fact, the number one predictor of success for me is your thermostat setting. Uh, I coach and help a lot of business owners to get to the next level or to break through their challenge. And I can tell within first five minutes, actually sometimes less than that, of whether they're going to be successful or not. And this is how. If the person I'm talking to is telling me we have a really tough um, environment for business, high taxes, a huge competition, the employees suck, uh, the economy sucks, and I'm so stupid, and I'm, I, just, I just don't know what the hell I'm doing, I know that person will not succeed because their setting is very, very low. They don't have what it takes in that mental state. Conversely, if somebody's telling me, look, Elena, you know, so I know like I have this problem, I have this challenge, you know, something is not working, but I know I can overcome it. All I need is that information or all I need this. So how do you guys fix that? I know that person will succeed. And it doesn't matter if that person was in, in business for 30 years and this person was never in business. But this is the power of your setting, right? The mental setting. So make sure you set your thermostat high. Because if you set it low, it will actually become an obstacle or barrier. It will hold you back. You wouldn't be able to overcome it and you will forever struggle. If you set it high, that setting will carry you through, not only through kidnapping, but specifically in cleaning business, it will carry you through a lot of hardship. So one of the first clients we've had in Superb Mates was this lady from Hawaii. And I used to live in Hawaii and it's my favorite place in the world because people there are amazing. So as soon as I saw that there's a client from Hawaii, I was super excited. Oh, this is a person with aloha in the heart. They're gonna be so sweet. Yay, I was very happy. Well. I couldn't be further from the truth. You know, she was extremely, extremely demanding, and rightfully so. But to this day, out of 4,500 clients, I would rate her in the top five, right? So, and that she was like within the first clients we've ever had. She made us go back at least seven times because she would always find things that she wasn't happy with. So we'll go back and we reclean. And then later, like half an hour later, or like the next day, she'll find something else and she'll make us come back. But because our thermostat was on high setting, we knew that we can overcome this. There should be a way to prevent this situation from happening. And we actually decided that we're going to clean so well, so well that it will satisfy even the demanding clients such as her. And then we figured if we make that client happy, everybody else will be happy, right? So that was our insight, uh, and it only came from having that setting on high. If it wasn't low, we would just say, you know what, this business is just not for us. We don't know what we're doing. We're a lawyer, an architect, right? We don't know the business. We don't understand the culture. The clients are terrible. This is Vegas. All these things that are constantly here. And we would just quit right there. But by having that mental thermostat set on high, we decided to learn and grow. And we did. <laughs>